Riff, Riff, come here, Riff. We just ran a test on these, and you're not gonna believe what we discovered. Wait till you see how far out I am, man. <laughs> you're still jumping. I keep backing up, I can't go. <laughs> You know, one of the biggest problems that we have in retro gaming is cords. Nowadays, our couches are so far away from our televisions, and every modern console has cordless controllers, but we still have cords, and they're only so long. In reality, we have no actual problem with cords because this is the way we grew up. There's something really nostalgic and special playing a video game in front of a TV holding the controller close. But as we get older and we grow up, sometimes we want to sit a little further back, relax a little more. That's just not long enough. I mean, that's as long as my arm. And even in a small room like this, what you see just moving back just a little, I'm already cutting the edge. So today, we're gonna try out two products from Hyperkin, the Scout and the Cadet for the Nintendo and the Super Nintendo wireless Nintendo controllers. Okay, so we have here the Cadet and the Scout. And before we get started, these are compatible with PC, Mac, and Android. But we're gonna be trying today on actual NES and Super Nintendo hardware. Also, I did wanna let everybody know that these are wireless up to 30 feet. These have a six hour lithium ion battery and they are rechargeable via micro cable. And as always, it has this very beautiful cutout that Hyperkin always does with their products. You always get a pretty little box with Hyperkin products, but I myself, I'm excited to try these out. Let's do it. All right, here goes for the cadet. Inside you get, ooh, first impression. This is beautiful. I like already these ergonomic, is that the word? Ergonomic designs there. It also comes with everyone's favorite, a dongle. Wherever that word came from, we gotta thank who invented that word, because it's got a dongle. And a micro USB charging cable. And here is the gold. Oh, it's a beautiful little, it's a beautiful little, Lightning? Jesus? It's a beautiful little controller. I like the size of it. Ooh. You know, first impressions, this right here on a real NES controller kind of cuts into your palm and your hand, but your thumb just kind of rests on there. And now the Scout, the Super Nintendo wireless controller. I gotta say, I really love the white theme around the edges of the controller. Anytime something's white like this, it just looks prettier to me. It looks more uh, sleek and it pops out and man, I can say right away, the build feels good. It feels a tiny bit thicker than an actual Super Nintendo controller. Uh, there's definitely a little more uh, girth to it. It feels otherwise just like a Super Nintendo controller minus some ridges up here. And again, some of these grips feel a little bit more uh, grippable in the back. But as far as first impression is just based off feel, I gotta say I love the feel. Better than a lot of the other like old school wireless controllers that I've tried, like the double player for the NES and stuff like that. So we'll see how it actually plays though. That's what's gonna be key. Looks aren't everything, sometimes. So as NES complex, I'm gonna be the one checking out the NES. Let's see if it plays as good as it feels. So first thing, I'm gonna plug the dongle in. My favorite word. Dongle power activate. There's a button. What does the button do? It's gotta be a sinking thing. I have a sinking feeling. French, German, where's the English? Before you begin. Okay, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, ready to do this. We didn't know. We didn't charge the dongle. This already had some juice in it, but we needed to charge the dongle. Apparently you gotta charge the dongle and the controller, but the fact is you're gonna have it in your NES and the NES is gonna be near an outlet. So if you had to have it plugged in as you were playing, that's not the end of the world. Is this a great game to test a controller with? I can't skip this. I don't even play this. I've never played Dick Tracy before. Okay, so initially I'll just say that it feels really comfortable. I like the grips around the edges. It feels really good in your hand. Your finger kind of wants to wrap around that and kind of grips it better. Buttons feel very natural. Like it, if I was not looking, if I didn't know, I would 
think this is an original NES controller. So I think playing a game like Mario is perfect because everyone's played it so many times that you know what it's supposed to feel like, you know how, it, how responsive it's supposed to be, and I'm not running, but that is extremely comfortable and very responsive. I don't sense any lag at all. Um, the buttons feel, like I said, they feel perfect. And I like this a lot. There's something really nice about having that because your finger wants to naturally curl around that. Uh, so yeah, just trying to test the lag, you know? I think one of the better, the best place to test this would be probably the extra man trick. It's super, super responsive. So I'm gonna test how far this responsiveness can go. So in this room, this is about as far as I can be. And I'm not, ooh, that was good, you missed that. I'm not noticing any kind of lagging yet, so I think we need to test it further away. All right, Chris, yeah. you keep playing out there and I'll talk. Right. Wait, go into this warp zone first. I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna just keep jumping right, oh, thanks, okay. went to world three. Wait, wait, let me stop this, let me turn off this light. I see you over there. Hi, hi. Hi. I'm jumping still, is it still jumping? You're still jumping. All right, I'm gonna go around the other side okay. so you can see me. Still jumping. Hi. <laughs> You're still, jump. You're still jumping. Okay. I don't know if, I can't get much further than this. I guess I could stand on the desk, but I'm gonna go around the corner here, out of range completely. Okay. When it stops jumping. Okay, keep going. Go in the other rooms. I am. How far are you? I'm in the room, the other room he was live streaming. Bro, you're still jumping. All right, I'm way in the corner, as far as I can be. You are still jumping. Well, wow, that's impressive, dude. You are, you're playing. All right, wait, 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 I'll tell you when to jump. Jump. Okay, you're good. Jump. Oh, you died. Okay, that is incredibly impressive. I mean, I was divided by several walls. I was about, it says the range on this on the back, it says the range is 30 feet. I would think I was at least 45 feet and separated by several walls. And this is an office building where I don't know how the walls are made, but I, I would assume that there'd be things that might obstruct, but it didn't obstruct at all. And I couldn't see the screen, but I was still controlling it. Very impressive. All right, Chris said he wants to go excessively far. Like I'm talking like 50 to 100 yeah, feet away. Yeah, let me see if I can do this outside. Tell me when it stops. Okay. You're still jumping, how far are you? I'm outside. No way. I am outside, seriously. You're I'm still you're, you're still jumping. Is it still jumping? Yes. Right now, I'm still jumping. Yes. Can you hear the traffic out here? Oh my gosh! How far are you from the controller? Okay, I'm almost by my car. No way. Am I jumping really? Yeah, I swear in my life you're still jumping. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Tell me when I stop, man. I'm gonna keep backing up. You're lying. I, I'm jumping right now. You're still You're jumping! Lying. Dude, are you <laughs> lying to me? I swear to you, you're still jumping. I will show footage, we'll go outside after, and you okay. tell us where you were. I'm gonna, when I stop jumping, I'm gonna stop, and then you come out here, and you'll see how far away I am. Oh my god. Chris, you're tell still when I, jumping. That might really. Oh, wait, you just died. The time limit ran out. Okay, or, I have to push start? Press A or press start. That worked. It worked? Okay, you're on level one, go ahead. Okay. No uh -oh, way, I'm you're still hit. jumping. Dude, I'm actually in the street now. You're lying. I'm not lying. I'm totally, absolutely serious. Tell me when I stop. This is unreal. It is unreal. I cannot believe this. Um, okay, this is not a paid endorsement by Hyperkin, but this is probably one of the most impressive things I've ever seen. <laughs> Wait till you see how far out I am, man. Chris, you're still jumping! I keep backing up. I can't go... <laughs> <laughs> how is this real? This is the phone, by the way, guys. Am I really? I swear to you, you're still jumping. This is a joke. Um, <laughs> You're still <laughs> jumping. Oh my gosh. Hyperkin, what? Okay, you stopped. Stay where you I are. Stopped. You stopped. stopped. 
Okay, I cannot wait for you to see where I'm at. Okay, everybody, right now. When, this... when you come out, look to the left. Okay, guys, I'm, left. I'm filming. This dongle right here, this dongle that you're all seeing, is what was controlling how far NES Complex is. We're walking out to him right now. Okay, so as you guys see, we are going through an office um, with plenty of walls. This is unreal. Unreal. No way. No way. No. <laughs> it was working from here? No. No way. Where are you? No, no way. No. <laughs> it was working. This is hundreds of feet. Oh my gosh. No, I'm running. <laughs> How is this possible? No way. No way. Shut up. You're lying. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy cow! I can't believe, I thought you have to be lying. I was not, this is the most unreal thing I've seen. I thought you have to be lying. There's no way that this is still working. Oh but my. It, I absolutely played from here. How far do you think that is? Hundreds of feet. Oh gosh, yeah. I, I think it exceeds the 30 feet range that it says on the box. I thought Chris had to be lying with how far away he was. I was like, there's. This is unreal. When I walked out of the building, I thought he'd be like right there. I thought for sure there's no way that he's being serious, that, that he's just messing with me, wanting to see like how far I'll walk away, like maybe I'll just walk home. But he was genuinely through all the walls, all the way out, hundreds of feet, literally hundreds of feet down the road. I couldn't even see him. But it actually was still working. I cannot believe that. But that, that, that is freaking impressive and really, really, really important because not just will it work for homes, like being in your home long distance, I'm talking for people who want to hook up projector screens outside and play from literally hundreds of feet away. Impressive. Let's check out the Super Nintendo one. Come on. Wow, I think it just gave out. Oh, wait, Houston, we have... All right, so now we are trying the Super Nintendo one, which is called the Scout. And funny enough, when we started this video, we're like, let's be organized and prepared and have everything look nice and look at behind us now. We've gotten stressed, but this video has kind of shocked us so far. Uh, we were talking about it with the cameras off, like this is really impressive. So I'm gonna try out the Super Nintendo one and see how it feels. We're playing on a Super Famicom, by the way. Okay, so like Complex said, if you didn't tell me I was playing one of these, I almost wouldn't know except for these ridges right here. The feel, uh, Chris was telling me too with his, he's like, dude, you really need to try the feel of this thing because that's really important. And it does feel amazing. And I'm doing the minecart level right now because the minecart level is very sensitive to your fingers. And you can look while I'm over there, Chris. This level is always super important to have your buttons working correctly. And as you can see, guys, I'll be honest, right now, I'm feeling a little more comfortable than I normally do even with the actual Super Nintendo controller. But I can honestly say this feels so, so good in my hands. And again, this isn't a Hyperkin sponsored video. This is the way to play right now, if I'm being honest. This is the way I wanna play at my house. So now I'm doing a level where it's not just based off jumping. You know, there's some rolling involved and turning left and right. And, oh man, this is fantastic. Again, comfortability is huge nowadays in gaming, especially with everything we have uh, available in the world, and this feels fantastic. Uh, the grips on the back, I think, actually are comfortable for me. They make me feel like I have a little more control of the controller. So overall, uh, right now with this controller, love, love, love it. Love it! So we had some time with these Hyperkin controllers. Chris, what do you think overall? Well, okay, responsiveness. A plus, yep. feel, A plus, yep. range. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what that letter is above A, but there's a letter above A. It blew my mind. It really did. Yeah, it was it, just it, amazing. It was a weird thing because even after the camera rolled, I feel like we even got a little bit more natural with the way we talked to each other about oh, it. We yeah. like, I was like, dude, like, did, did you just <laughs> see that? <laughs> did that like, really did you happen? Just see how far you went outside. Yeah. Um, I would have to say the same thing as far as everything you pointed on. A plus, A plus, A plus, and we agreed. The only downfall that we saw in it was 
the dongle. Just the fact that you have to charge the dongle separately. I mean, I guess it wouldn't get power from the system. It wasn't meant to do that. But still, the fact you have to charge both and it comes with one cable, so you have to really have these things charged. Now, it does have a six hour battery life, so. Yeah, yeah and if you play new games a lot too as well, it's like we're used to charging controllers right. at this point. So just, it, it's, it, I guess it's a subjective critique from us, depending on if you're good about charging your controllers. If you're Ricky, it's an issue because Ricky <laughs> never charges his controllers. But seriously, that's a very minor complaint, yeah. like all around. I think this is excellent. It is by far of all the wireless options I've ever played and tested, this is the best one I've ever used. Yeah, we were saying that, that honestly, this is, and it's like one of those things, it's almost like weird because in the world where now, when you talk good about something, people are like, Oh, you're just saying that because of this, or you're saying it because of that. No, we don't get any money or anything for doing this. Uh, these are fantastic. But otherwise, these are 33 bucks. Like again, we don't get anything for that, but 33 bucks from Hyperkin. If you're a player, avid player uh, of your Super Nintendo or your Nintendo, I definitely recommend getting one. That's a, a small price to pay for insane comfortability, responsiveness, yeah. and room room to move, man. I wish, Absolutely. Wish everything moved from back here. Chris, why don't you <laughs> tell them to unsubscribe? So, unsubscribe. Like the video and subscribe for more Ryan's Toy Review. Whatever. So we better do that. Actually, we already did that. Nice. Look at me. I have a controller. Are you going to blame the controller? The controller is terrible. Clearly. What am I saying? What did I say last time? Am I introducing this? Like, what's happening? No. No? Just start? Okay, very, just starting. Very, very my life in gaming. Just okay. Let's go.